Good afternoon to you. I'm David Wade. We want to bring you live to the State House right now. The Senate President Stanley Rosenberg will address the allegations that his husband sexually assaulted or harassed four men. Let's listen in. Anytime there are allegations of sexual harassment and assault, we should all be shocked and devastated. Our hearts must go out to anyone who has been hurt, and I encourage anyone, anywhere, anytime to come forward. We in the Senate maintain a zero tolerance policy for sexual harassment and will always encourage people to come forward to any authority they feel comfortable with without any fear of retaliation. My heart goes out to anyone who may have been hurt and I'm committed to helping anyone who's been harmed. This has been the most difficult time in my political life and in my personal life. As Senate President, my concern is for the Senators, the staff, and all those who have business before the Senate. I've repeatedly made clear that Brian was to have no influence on what happens in the Senate. He has no influence over policy, the internal operations of the Senate, or any Senate-related business. If Brian claimed to have influence over my decisions or over the Senate, he should not have said that. It is simply not true. And I'm looking forward to fully cooperating with the investigation and look forward to their findings. And I'm confident that the investigation will find that Brian had no influence on the workings of the Senate. Brian is seeking professional help for alcohol dependence, which will include his being admitted to an inpatient treatment center very shortly. The last 24 hours have been heartbreaking and difficult. I've spent most of those hours processing those allegations, and I will continue to do so even as Brian prepares to enter treatment. And as you know, I never hesitate or shy away from questions, but today, because of the imminent investigation, I've been advised not to answer any questions at this time. Thank you. Thank you.